If you're of a certain age, you might remember this. It's a rather lovely example of a Mark I Honda Civic from 1975. Ah, 1975, the year the Vietnam War finally ended, Bill Gates and Paul Allen created Microsoft, inflation was causing all sorts of problems, the disposable razor was born, and Jaws was at the cinema. On top of that, Bohemian Rhapsody, Fame, Jive Talking and Get Down Tonight would all have been on the radio. So how have we gone from this to this? When this car was built, it was legal to drive without a seatbelt. Front seatbelt regulation didn't come into force until 1983, and it took until 1989 to make rear seatbelts compulsory for children under 14. It might be stating the obvious, but there are one or two differences between this Mark 1 Civic and the current one. This Civic is powered by a 1.2 four-cylinder engine driving the front wheels. It was available in two and four-door saloon forms and three and five-door hatchback. You could also get a five-door estate known as the van. It looks rather different to the angular, almost spaceship looking Civic of 2018. When it comes to safety, it's got autonomous emergency braking, lane departure warning. Yeah, okay, none of that is true. But what it has got is reversing lights, front disc brakes, and a rigid body shell with good rollover protection. And that's about your lot. The Mark I Civic has a very stylish interior, which definitely helped with its huge success. Check out these reclining vinyl bucket seats, this simulated wood trim, and you can listen to all the latest disco hits on this AM FM radio. And I mean, that's about it. Early Civics are known for being reliable, environmentally friendly and fuel efficient. This one gets about 40 mpg, it's got a top speed of 90 miles an hour and the 0-62 time takes 15.1 seconds. Speedy. The engine is smooth despite the slight lack of power, though the ride is quite bouncy and <laughs> you might be able to hear a little bit squeaky. While you were listening to Gangster's Paradise, Set You Free, Wonderwall, Common People, Country House and Cotton Eye Joe, what a vintage year. While wearing your bucket hats, your clueless checks, your combat trousers and buying a house for a mere £68,000, you could also have been driving this. Slap bang in the middle of the Civic life cycle is this Mark V Civic from 1995. At the time, it would have cost you £14,000. It's worth an amount of money today, but this one to Honda is priceless because it was the first one off the line at Honda's Swindon plant. This car will get around 39 mpg, take 10.2 seconds to do the 0-62 run and has a top speed of 119 miles an hour. You might have seen a few of these around on the roads as they're still pretty popular with people who love a car mod. If you were to have a bump, all Mark V Civics got a driver and passenger airbag and most have ABS brakes. And from 1996 onwards, a decent immobiliser made an appearance. In here, Honda has upped the technology levels. There's now a tape player to go with your AM FM radio. There is also this wood effect panelling. Mmm, don't grey and brown go so nicely together. Then there's these lovely pattern seats which lift the whole cabin. An impressive ride, supportive seats and once again some really smooth engines paired with a slick manual gearbox. Overall this Mark V mid 90 Civic is really comfortable and at the time there wasn't much that could match it. And that brings us to today. What's 2018 brought us so far? To be honest, we probably shouldn't go into that news-wise. The Avengers film was good. Beyonce and Jay-Z have a new album out. Whether you're into cars or not, you'll likely recognise this. It is one of the most striking and noticeable car shapes out there. Although you could have bought two houses in the 70s for the cost of one of these today, what hasn't changed is Honda's reputation for reliability and a cracking set of petrol engines. 
The styling is rather less conservative now and there is a lot going on. It's a bit of a Marmite car when it comes to the design. Less cutesy 70s chic, more spaceship, throw everything at it kind of vibe. It's certainly easier to get more comfortable in here, obviously from the Mark 1 in the 1970s, but also it's a big improvement on the 9th generation, although the touchscreen graphics are already looking a bit dated, especially when you compare it to the futuristic exterior. Gone is the bumpy ride from the 70s and it is smooth sailing in here, although the Civic will still excite you if you give it the chance to. Despite saying that in the 70s you could have bought two houses for the cost of one of these today, prices are still competitive for the class. Knowing what people want from a car has always been tricky to determine, and sometimes they might surprise you. For example, the Honda Civic won our 2018 New Car Award for the best car for dogs, and it's also apparently really popular with millennials. From the 1st to the 10th generation of Honda Civic spanning five decades, reliability and smooth petrol engines have been the mainstays. And while they might have lost their way in the middle in the style stakes, the bold design of the Civic makes it one of the most recognisable cars on the road today. However, I take the yellow peril any day of the week. <laughs>